um, on the podcast. But um, we talked about Jay Z's NFL deal. Yeah. Same man. You know what I mean? The other day for a good fifteen minutes, and um, it's been a lot of you know we posted a video up on both our perspective channels, and it's been you know up and down, 50-50 split. A lot of people going in on Jay, and a lot of people saying it's a good thing. Um. He had a town hall meeting. Yeah. What happened with that, Sam? Well, oh, God, he was in there with Roger Goodell and soon if, or, or later finding out he was in there with Charlemagne, Angie Martinez. I seen Tiki Barber in there mm. amongst other people. I guess they were having this panel meeting and questions were asked. Um, in particular, questions about Colin Kaepernick, questions that we were kind of asking as we were talking about it as it went along. I sent you to the stuff. I don't know if you got it, but if you don't, I have it right here for the people that listen real quick but this is um charlamagne the god talking about colin kaepernick asking him the question jay-z answering it and then going further man and we'll talk about it this is crazy here we go i think the biggest issue people have is they want to know how you could partner with a league on social justice when colin kaepernick who brought it to the attention of the masses by peacefully protesting against social injustice is still out of a job yeah that's a great question i think that um uh i think we take it back. I think that we we forget that Colin's whole thing was to bring attention to social injustice, correct? So uh, in that in that case, right, this is a success, right? This is the, the next thing, right? Because there's two parts of protesting. You go outside and you protest, and then the company or the individual say, I hear you. What do we do next? Right? So for me, there was, for me, this is, for me, it was like action actionable item, what are we gonna do with it? Like everyone heard, and we hear what you're saying, and everybody know, I agree with what you're saying. So, what are we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So, reach millions and millions of people, and or we get stuck on Colin not having a job. It's, you, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, put it this way, but would you, would you yield or would you stand? What I what? Um, okay, I think we've passed kneeling. Yeah, I think it's time to go into uh, actionable items. Do you want people to stop protesting? No, I don't want people to stop protesting at all. Kneeling, I I, I know we're stuck on it because it's a real thing, but it's a form of protest. I support protests across the board. We need to bring light to the issue. I think everyone knows what the issue is. <laughs> and we're, we're done with that. We, 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 everyone knows what the issue is. You know what the issue is? You know why we were kneeling? OK, do you know the issue? Yeah, yeah do you know the issue? <laughs> yes? We all know the issue now. OK, next. What are we moving on next? And I'm not, again, so to be clear, for the room, I'm not minimizing that part of it, because that has to happen. That's a necessary part of the process. But now we all know what's going on. What are we going to do? How are we going to stop? Because the kneeling was not about a job. It was about injustice. Let me bring attention to injustice. Everyone's saying, how are you going forward And Cap doesn't have a job? This wasn't about him having a job. Mm -hmm. Right? That became part of it. That became part of the discussion. He was kneeling um, to bring attention to injustice. We know what it is. Now, how do we address that injustice? What's the way forward? Does anyone else in here, anyone have any other suggestions of what's the way forward? Everybody knows what it is now. It's time we move on from the kneeling. The cat did more than just kneel. I mean, he was working with the communities and he was doing stuff beyond just bringing awareness to it. Why, why don't you bring him into this initiative? Do you plan to involve him? That, you have to ask him. I can't, I, I don't, I'm not his boss. I can't just bring him into something. He has to, that's, that's for him to say. And you speak about it as if it's in the past tense. You say he, he did more and he oh, was. Still doing it, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's your rights can't. Huh? No, your rights can't. Yeah, so he's currently doing action items, right? That's, that's his version of action item. This is our version of action item. We all do different things and we all work differently for the same results. I don't knock what he's doing and. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, knock what I'm doing. Have you talked to him about bringing him into this project? Oh, guys, so that's pretty much in a nutshell what we need to talk about, what we need to hear. Yeah, man. What's your thoughts on that, man? It's, uh, I, I would have a few questions, man, more questions. 
you know, um, for Jay Z. And I agree, you know, with a lot of the stuff, the protest, you know, you kneel and whatnot. But what's next in that whole particular, you know, thing? And he talks about actionable items. My question would be, and even to the people out there listening, and Jay Z, obviously, he won't answer, but I know the people in the comment section will. How does Jay Z? Being the creative control or working with the NFL with a halftime show, how does that address police brutality? Let's just throw the whole Kaepernick situation around, you know, away. Never mind Colin Kaepernick still being blackballed by all the owners in the NFL. Never mind that. Never mind that there's no been no change in police brutality. As a matter of fact, we can still show you probably even today where police are still brutalizing black people. So my question would be, how in the hell does an entertainment, an entertainment venue address police brutality how does that do that when the very owners in the nfl right now are boycotting signing this man for demonstrating on that platform for kneeling on that platform for police brutality how in the hell does that work i don't get that part sam man so i just think that is the other things that we need to bring up with jay-z is some of his you know um people that he endorsed and when you know when you endorse people when you do concerts for Hillary Clinton, you endorse, you know, a lot of the things that they have done. Mm-hmm. And we know, you know, she has a very questionable record, Hillary Clinton. So I just really want to see what's going to happen, not to go too much in on Jay. I want to see what the plan is on how they're really going to address police brutality. I don't know. I'm looking up stuff right now just to really get kind of a understanding of it. And all right. So. I'm looking at something from the New York Post, and this just came out at 7.13. So we're right now at 7.42, so not too long ago. And they're destroying Jay-Z, but I'm not even going to go there (laughs) on what they're saying. But I'll read this caption. This week, the NFL, with its $42 per man at the will, committed another act of putting up while shutting up. It named Jay-Z and his entertainment rep company, Rock Nation, to enhance the NFL's live game experiences and to amplify the league's social justice efforts. Jay-Z also will contribute to and supervise Super Bowl halftime acts. Bringing more niggas in to, to sing and dance and do backflips. The fuck? Because they ain't want to come in before because Jay-Z was the one who pretty much persuaded them not to. Last year. You said that. And, yeah. And, and, and dare I say bullied people who did. Big boy. Um, Gladys Knight. I forgot who else did the performance. Yeah. I really didn't care about Party it. B said she wouldn't do it because of Jay-Z's premise. Mm-hmm. A lot of people stepped away only for you to go back to bring more acts in. But go ahead, Sam, man, your thoughts. Man, I know, like you said, I the fact that, okay, we have to progress from kneeling, I completely agree with that 100%. Now, now what action is going to be taking place from here to further the conversation and what the NFL expects to do in contributing in a very, very disgusting act that's going on in police brutality amongst black and, and black individual, male and female. Disgusting was going on. What are we going to do about that to raise awareness to it? Um, black, bald Colin Kaepernick. It isn't about his job. OK, I've been on record, oh God, to say I don't think he should ever play in another NFL yep. game again. I don't think he should ever suit up. If he does suit up, I think it takes away from his calls. But he does deserve a phone call. He does deserve a tryout. Right. He deserves to fucking have a door open for him. And the fact that it hasn't been open for him is very troubling to me because it still goes to, okay, we got to shut this dude up. He brought all this awareness. So F him. No, he's not getting anywhere near our league. Put up or shut up. And dare I say, maybe that money that he was given is to shut him up and keep him out of the league. Who knows? Talk about it. Because this is a really weird situation that's going on. But um, for Jay-Z to, to, kind of just partner up and it's a, it's a very distracting situation that's going on and people just got to pay attention to it. Um, NFL, a lot of people boycott, a lot of people still watch. They still deserve criticism. And this is what I'll say about that because a lot of people give criticism. We give criticism to Jay-Z, but look yourself in the mirror as we look ourselves in the mirror and ask yourself, what are you doing now? You can't do it on the scale that Jay-Z is doing it because most of us aren't billionaires. But you do have something that you can do and contribute in your local community. You do have something that you could do up the street from your house. You do have something you could do to contribute in your own goddamn household, as opposed to paying attention and giving criticism to what's going on in areas and situations you have no real saying. Take care of yours and let's build from there. But Jay-Z, I mean, 
I think that he deserves criticism in this situation. I think that even oh, yeah. the, the four minute excerpt, I, I still don't agree with, no. a, with the overall premise of it. I don't think that bringing halftime shows and throwing up fist and just kind of <laughs> making it theatrical now. I think that's almost a spit in the face. Yeah, and I think that Jay Z needs to get, and I'm sure I, I, I haven't heard Jay Z complain about the criticism too much, but this, you know, is politics now. So you're, you're getting into that, that arena. So what politics? I mean, Donald Trump is criticized on the daily. Hillary Clinton, any president, Obama has been criticized on the daily. So I think that is great that people have their different, you know, viewpoints on Jay Z and what he's done. But um, you know, again, not to go too hard. We, we I think we gave some good perspective on it we just want to see where this goes man if we you know look at the, the halftime show and we see you know just people shucking and jiving and dancing we might see a black fist or, or somebody wear an afro or something and we think that's actually going to change something then i think we can you know see but sooner or later jay-z is going to show his hand and we're going to know all right what he's really for now you know his track record is you know sketchy but he has done some great things along the way here too so you know, but we are going to continue to give criticism where criticism is due. But as far as the NFL, they really got to show me something because they pretty much showed their hand and said, look, we're not going to do anything about police brutality. As a matter of fact, anybody protesting, we're going to put you out of the league, not even give you a tryout. You know, I mean, even though you're, you know, at one point, one of the best quarterbacks that played in the game, we're not giving you a tryout on the worst team that needs a quarterback the most. You won't even get a breath. If you're Eric Reed, if you're protesting, we're going to give you hundreds of tests mm -hmm. before the season even starts. We're going to, you know, continue to try to make your life a living hell. I would like to see what Michael Jenkins of the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, also thinks about this as well. But yeah, man, you know, we're going to have to wait and see what this one, Sam, man. Does it, what does it tell you that get, we see another situation where we even see Jay-Z, a billionaire now, outspoken rapper, says a lot in his rhymes and things like that. Is still afraid to, I don't want to say afraid because I don't know, but fails to make an uncomfortable situation for white folk in a building like that. Now, in public forum right there, why not ask Roger Goodell, why is Colin Kaepernick blackballed? Just put him on a, why not? And see the answer because he is. There's no doubt. And Eric Reed is going through hell. And there's no doubt why. And when you see 32 owners, all of the same complexion, all of the same lineage, probably mm -hmm. under the same ideals, passed through generation through generation and not too far off a generation let's be reminded of that i mean how can you not say it's a black ball and the reasoning why is clear as day yeah and it fails to still be answered directly and i don't understand why we're afraid to just have that uncomfortable conversation because i think that that'll really start introducing some change yeah and no how come you know my thing would be why does jay-z think that this is the best form of action because it could have been where Jay Z could have said, "Yo, fuck it, everybody boycott the NFL until we get some, until they stand up for police brutality. Since it ain't about Cap's job, fuck it, don't go to the NFL. All the players, you know, what I'm saying, need to boycott. Use your voice for that. So that obviously could have worked, you know, as well as people pulling back from the NFL until they made a stance. Those type of things have worked. So not to say that this is the only way." that it can work by so-called sitting at the table with these people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, um, trying to, you know, entertain us at the halftime show and right. shit. Exactly. Some, some fists, some, some Afros and shit. We've seen it all before, man. Yeah, I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see Coachella, <laughs> too. No disrespect. That was